Thanks for tuning in to Riverside Webucation's YouTube channel and this episode of Wordology, where it's all about exercising your brain and becoming vocabulary strong. Now, here's your host and chief wordologist, Mrs. Meyer. Hey there, word lovers. I'm super excited to bring to you um, one of my favorite parts of working with words and playing with words, and that is figurative language. So we're going to focus on that for a few days, and let's have some fun. Okay, here we go. Uh, we are wordologists at Riverside School. Ist means person who, ology means study of, and words is our base word. So we are working to become wordologists. Um, we are vocabulary strong. We're constantly looking for words we love so we can expand our speaking vocabulary, we can expand our reading vocabulary, we can expand our writing vocabulary. Vocabulary strong. Um, last time we talked about code switching, that idea that you use caps and end marks when you write sentences, like kudos to you that are doing it, your teachers are noticing, it's going to make a big difference in how you develop as a scholar. There's our mantra, I use caps and end marks when I write sentences. As you're writing, you want to make sure you're saying that over and over in your head be until it becomes automatic. Remember, as you grow as a writer, some of those things that you knew when you were little fall by the wayside and you forget to do them. So you have to go back to that mantra. I use caps and end marks when I write sentences to retrain yourself at that higher level of, of writing. It is a gift to your reader, and I know as a reader myself of your work, I'm super appreciative of that, and so are your teachers. Okay, I'm excited because I'm going to do um, this week a study of figurative language, and um, figurative language is ways that you say things um, in a way that isn't literal. It's figurative. And so we're going to start off today with recognizing similes and metaphors. So in this podcast, I have a YouTube I want. So recognizing the difference between a simile and a metaphor. We're working to see if we can do that. So a simile is where two things are directly compared and as or like is usually used to make that comparison. He was as tired as Sleeping Beauty and it's saying that the boy and Sleeping Beauty were not literally the same but figuratively tired. Metaphor, metaphor also compares two things but it doesn't do it as directly if it doesn't use as or like. Here's an example. She is the apple of my eye. Do you think you can tell if the following sentences use a simile or a metaphor? He was as slippery as an eel. Is that a simile or a metaphor? Need a hint? There's the word as to make your comparison. So that's a simile. He was a lion in battle. Simile or metaphor? Here's your hint. He was that. So it is a metaphor. Created using Powtoon. All right. Simile or metaphor? He was as hungry as a bear coming out of hibernation. He was as hungry as a bear coming out of hibernation. That is a simile because it uses him and the word as to make that comparison. It didn't say he was a bear coming out of hibernation. It's saying he was as hungry as a bear. You have to be careful just because it uses the word like or it uses the word as doesn't mean it's a simile. It has to be used in that comparison. Simile or metaphor, the child's tears were raindrops from a stormy cloud. Now in this case, it says the child's tears were that. It could be were, it could be was, it could be is, any form of that verb, but it's saying that his tears were raindrops from a stormy cloud. It's speaking figuratively, 
Um, but that's a metaphor because it makes its comparison to something else without using like or as. You might recognize this song. Practice makes progress. It just makes me smile when I get um, emails from kids that are putting this into their writing. Um, I know some of you are working on poetry and this is a perfect place to add that in there. Watch for those similes and metaphors and we'll see you um, next time as we continue to explore this. All right, what did you think? We're gonna work on some simile and metaphors um, tomorrow also, and um, I'm just excited to see where this goes. Enjoy your figurative language. Bye guys. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Wordology. Be sure to subscribe and like down below. We'll see you next time.